Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica. Today we are going to talk about the apple cider vinegar rinse, also known as the ACV rinse. I had never heard about this rinse until after I transitioned to gray hair. And when I heard about it, or when I saw it, I thought there's no way I'm going to put that on my hair. First of all, it's stinky. And look at the color. I thought this is going to stain my hair. I, I can't believe that this would be good or do any good to your hair. Like, look at it. So I thought there's no way I'm putting this on my hair because it's gonna stain my hair, this dingy color, and it's going to be stinky. So I waited quite a while, months and months and months, and I read about it, and every now and then somebody would bring it up, and I just kept putting it off. There's no way I was going to try this. I finally caved and gave it a try. I've used it a few times already, and I loved it. It's wonderful. I didn't tell anybody in my family that I had used it. And I came out of the room after my hair had dried, and my husband gives me one look and says, wow, your hair is so white. Later on, my son touched my hair and told me it was so fluffy. It works really, really well. I'm going to share the apple cider vinegar rinse benefits, and then I'm going to show you how I mix it and how I apply it to my hair. The apple cider vinegar offers so many wonderful benefits to our hair. One of the greatest benefits is it balances our scalps and our hair's pH levels. It clarifies our scalp, it removes product buildup, dirt and oil, and once all that gunk is removed, our hair has more volume. It closes and seals the cuticle, making our hair shiny, smooth, and frizz-free. It stimulates hair growth and helps treat dandruff. And one of my most favorite benefits is it removes brassiness or that yellow tinge that our hair sometimes gets. And it also helps get rid of that green stain that some people get on their hair. It may take several washes depending on how bad the staining is. You don't want to use it too often. One to two times a week is more than enough. I honestly would just recommend once a week just to be in the safe side. If you use it too often, like if you start overusing it, your hair can become very dry and brittle and start breaking off. So you don't want to overuse it. I'm going to show you what you need to make the mixture and then I'll show you how I apply it. So all you need is a raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar. You'll need either filtered or distilled water and a container to put your mixture in. I like to use this because it has a spout and I can just pour it out over my head when I'm in the shower. Some people like to spray it on their hair. I don't like to do that. I prefer just pouring the whole thing on my head. This controls the amount that's coming out. It's not falling all over my face. The little spout controls where it falls, which is really nice. If you have dry hair, you will use one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and 16 ounces of water. If you have oily hair, you will use two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and 16 ounces of water. Then you'll put it all into your container and mix it up really well. And then put that aside next to you in the shower. So when you're ready to take a shower, you'll have it ready to use. You're gonna hop into the shower and you are going to shampoo your hair. Once you've rinsed off the shampoo, you're gonna grab your mixture and pour it over your head, making sure to saturate every strand with your apple cider vinegar rinse. You're gonna slowly massage the apple cider vinegar into your scalp. And then you're gonna let the apple cider vinegar rinse sit on your scalp and hair for two minutes. Once your two minutes is up, rinse off the apple cider vinegar and you're ready to go. If you want, you can apply conditioner. You just wanna apply it to the bottom half of your hair. You don't wanna apply the conditioner to your scalp. I don't apply conditioner, I leave it like that. 
I will be honest and say that the apple cider vinegar is really, really, really stinky. It smells bad. My sense of smell isn't too strong, so it doesn't bother me, but it might bother you. So if you want, some people add essential oils to their mixture. I don't do that, so I can't really say how well that works. But it will smell, but once you've fully rinsed it off, your hair and your body, and your hair is completely dry, it won't smell anymore. I couldn't smell it. As a matter of fact, I just did a rinse yesterday and you would not be able to tell that I had the stinky stuff on my hair. So it does smell, but only for a little bit, only when your hair is wet and then the smell goes away. If the smell bothers you, add the conditioner, it'll help kind of neutralize the smell. And that's all I do. Super simple, super quick and very very effective it is a wonderful treatment your hair will be shiny and bouncy and healthier there are so many wonderful things that come from using the apple cider vinegar rinse so you need to give it a try and then let me know what you think and like i said if you're using it to get rid of yellow staining or green on your hair it might take a few tries don't expect a miracle it's not going to happen in the one wash unless you don't have that much staining or it's very light it could work in one wash but most likely it's going to take several washes it's a quick and easy rinse to help keep your hair healthy shiny and beautiful so thank you so much for watching thank you for joining me thank you so much for your support if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye